It's just all so out of control. Life, I mean. The way it flies off in all these different directions without your permission. What do you guys think of when I just read that quote? Well, for me, I thought of my life, and I thought of all those good and bad experiences in my life. And um, the reason why I chose this quote is because I can relate to it. And um, there are times when I just lie down and think how terrible life is, but I, I just can't relate to it. And um, so that brings us to this book called How to Save a Life by Sarah Zar. And it, this book takes place in Denver, Colorado. And the two main characters of this book is Jill and Mandy. Jill is this girl trying to get over the fact that her father is dead and she needs to move on in life. But the problem for her is that she can't. She can't get over the grief. For Mandy, she's this girl who's pregnant and she needs to find, she's giving the baby away and she needs to find the right family to give it away. How their lives intertwine is that Jill's mom, Robin, <coughs> wants to adopt a baby and it seems that the baby is Mandy's soon to be born baby and um, I, I think the theme of this book is um, accepting other people because for Jill it's really hard to accept Mandy since she just lost her father and um, it's a big change in her life and she feels as if Mandy is like a new family member, a replacement for her dad, and she doesn't like the idea of it. For Mandy, it's about accepting this new idea called family and home, because Mandy never, Mandy always grew up unwanted, and she doesn't know how to feel the, the love and care of other people. And um, the plot of this book is how both of them try to accept um, the new changes in their life and move on. And um, I chose this book because there are lots of thoughts, feelings, and lessons that we can learn from. And I think that's what's really significant about this book. And so I just really hope that you guys will give this book a try and check it out. Thanks.